And moving right along places us in women empowerment. Here, the host is the well-known Dr. Shambhu Banik. Dr. Banik's guest is Mrs. Lakshmi Swaminathan, who's actually no stranger to GTV. Mrs. Swaminathan is the founder and also the director of dances at Nathanjali School of Dance, located in Bethesda, Maryland. Let's catch this conversation. Good morning. On behalf of Global Television Networks, Women's and World Views, Women Empowerment Program, it gives me a great honor and pleasure to welcome a multi-talented and international known artist who really doesn't need any interaction in nation's capital, Mrs. Lakshmi Swaminathan. Lakshmi ji, welcome to Global Television Network's Women's Empowerment Program. Thank you very much for having me, Dr. Barnik. I am delighted to be here with you. After reading your brief bio, I was so inspired that what you have done for our children, for our community, it is incredible. First, let me ask you the first question that you founded a dance school where you have trained thousands of students. What is the name of the dance school? Uh, the name of my school is mm -hmm. Natananjali School of Dance and it's based in Bethesda, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And uh, I train students in the Indian classical dance style called Bharatanatyam, which Bharatanatyam. comes from mm -hmm. the southern part of India. Okay. And <clears throat> how long you have been operating this school? In Bethesda, I actually started in um, 2002 with my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, when she turned five, I okay. uh, decided to start a group. Mm -hmm. And uh, with her friends, I started and it has grown since then. So I could, you could say I've been in operation for 12 years now. 12 years? Yes. <coughs> and how many students you have trained so far? I, if you ask me how many students I have trained, it's mm -hmm. probably over a hundred. But at mm -hmm. any given time, I mm -hmm. only take 60 students. It's my cutoff. I don't mm -hmm. take more than 60 students because mm -hmm. I like to give my individual attention to them. Mm -hmm. um, I do not have any other teachers besides myself oh, in my okay. institution. Mm -hmm. um, so I have no assistance. It's all me. Mm -hmm. So um, if I take more students, then I am not able to give as much attention to every student as I uh, could. So I generally cut off at 60. Now over the years that you have been <coughs> teaching Bharat Natyam to students, you know, what is the total number of students over the years? Over the years it's very difficult to say because I started teaching when I was 15. Oh, 15? Yes, in wow. Kolkata. Mm -hmm. um, I had my, I didn't have an official school there, mm -hmm. but I had close to 40 students there, uh, yeah. all neighborhood uh, children. Yeah. And I also used to teach at my, at the institution where I received my training, Kalamandalam, mm -hmm. Calcutta, mm -hmm. uh, director Guru Thangkamani Kutti. Mm -hmm. I used to teach several classes there, so there were multiple students in every batches. So it's very difficult for me to put a number to it, okay. but um, I'm, I've had several students, let's just say that. Now, besides teaching, you also appeared in many television programs over the years, you know, including Doradarshan, yeah. and also you had been many parts of the world. What are some of the countries that you performed? Uh, I have performed in Singapore. That mm -hmm. was way back when in 1983, um, I think. Uh -huh. okay. uh, either 83 or 85. It's so far back, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I've performed in the United Kingdom pretty mm -hmm. extensively because I worked there for a year from uh, 1990 to 1991. Mm -hmm. I was the resident teacher performer for mm -hmm. an organization called um, Rittika Arts based yes. in Coventry. Mm -hmm. So as Coventry. In Coventry, mm -hmm. yes. And as part of um, Rittika Arts, we have mm -hmm. performed in several places in mm -hmm. Leeds, London, um, un we, we performed at University of Warwick, um, mm -hmm. several places uh, throughout the UK. Okay. And uh, of course, in the United States, mm -hmm. um, I used to, uh, when I came to the US, I yeah. lived in New York. New York. So, yes, in okay. New York. So I've performed in New York, New Jersey. I was uh, briefly on the uh, Governor's uh, Arts Council of New Jersey um, mm -hmm. as a resident performer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I have performed in Alabama. I have performed in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So 
-hmm. several states in uh, in the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. In Maryland, you also performed in Montgomery County, Smithsonian, and among other places. Tell our viewers what other places you performed in Montgomery County and in the state of Maryland. Um, I have to say I have not had the privilege of performing at Smithsonian yet, but oh. we would love to have an opportunity to uh, oh. present there. But we have performed at various um, mm -hmm. venues. We've performed several times for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, Cherry Blossom Festival? Yes, okay. we've performed at the International Children's Festival. We've mm -hmm. performed... Uh, we performed basically three years in a row for the mm -hmm. Maryland Governor's um, Asian American Pacific Islander mm -hmm. um, celebrations for mm -hmm. the month during the month of May. May we okay. were also honored to be part of the um, New American Street Festival that was commissioned by the Maryland um, Governor a um, mm -hmm. couple of years back. Mm -hmm. We have performed at the Interfaith Conference, which was held at the National Cathedral, which was an absolutely fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. A couple of my students had the honor of performing for the White House Diwali function in 2010. 2010? Yes, okay. and we've been honored to have performed five years in a row ever since the Montgomery mm -hmm. County um, mm -hmm. Executive Offices started celebrating Diwali. We've um, had... Including uh, this year? Including this year. Mm -hmm. We've had the opportunity to perform there. So um, many venues, mm -hmm. um, we have been truly blessed and honored. Now, besides having a dance school, you also have been highly active in many philanthropic activities, raising funds from different causes. Yes. Can you share with our viewers some of the causes that you have contributed? Um, I have always wanted to um, give back to the community using mm -hmm. my dance. Mm -hmm. We performed in so many places, and I just remember one day sitting and thinking, mm -hmm. We've done so much, what more can I do with my dance? And mm -hmm. then I realized that the best thing I would love to do is to um, raise funds for a charitable cause. Mm -hmm. um, and um, women and children are very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. So um, my annual show funds, um, I usually, whatever revenue I get, yeah. I donate to a charitable cause. Uh, I have donated to Prajwala, uh, mm -hmm. which deals um, with uh, child trafficking. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've donated to um, National Center for Children and Families, okay. um, right in our neighborhood and on mm -hmm. Green Tree Road. And mm -hmm. I made a spe special request to them, um, saying that the funds should go towards the families that are suffering from domestic violence. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, as a part of, as a member of the group um, Shivanjali, there are about 11 of us uh, metro area dance teachers who collaborate together uh, and raise, uh, do a performance in the spring, usually in March. And we raise funds. One year we donate to a charity in India, mm -hmm. one year to a charity in the West because mm -hmm. we straddle um, both the countries, mm -hmm. um, India yeah, because that's where we grew up and um, U.S. because that this is where we make our home now. So mm -hmm. through that we have donated to the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund when they had the earthquake. Oh, Haiti Fund? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. um, we have done for SOS Children's Villages. Mm -hmm. We have raised um, funds for Charity Water. Mm -hmm. And uh, this coming year in 2015 we are planning to uh, donate to Ames for Seva mm -hmm. um, for... Um, and uh, I'm going to, you know, we are probably mm -hmm. going to make a special request that they use it to mm -hmm. fund for um, children, uh, girls. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think they have girls' hostels and boys' hostels. And mm -hmm. um, as I said, I'm very interested in causes for women and children. Okay. So that's one request we are probably going to make to them. Mm -hmm. um, these are some of the, some of the um, charitable causes. How do you accomplish all those things you teach? You have a family to take look after. You have a daughter. How many children do you have? I just have one daughter. One daughter? Yeah, she's and a she, senior. <clears throat> she's also a very accomplished dancer. Recently, she got an award. Yes. Correct? Yes. Uh, tell us, viewers, uh, what kind of award she got. Um, she was nominated by her mm. school, Walt mm. Whitman High School. Mm. Oh, um, she this, didn't want to Yes. Yeah. Um, this was when she was a junior, and this is an award for juniors in high school. Mm -hmm. And it's awarded by the National Society for Arts and Letters. Mm -hmm. And uh, the school can nominate in various um, categories related to arts. It could be creative writing, it could be theater, drama, singing, mm -hmm. music, dance. She was nominated nominated for dance and the school can nominate one person for the award of excellence which is like mm -hmm. an award and up to two children for certificate of merit per category. Mm -hmm. um, she was nominated for the award 
for Excellence, and she received it at the Kennedy Center uh, May of this year. Yeah. Great. Now, you also have a television program. Yes. In GTV. Tell me, what program do you run? I understand you come almost every week. Um, no, it's once a month. It's one on month. the fourth Saturday of every month, and it's yes. called the World of Bharatanatyam. Mm -hmm. I try to showcase mm -hmm. um, Bharatanatyam to the viewers with an aim to entertain as well as educate them about the fine nuances of this uh, beautiful classical dance form. Now, you also planning to have called Dhirana movement. What is it? Is? Uh, my one of my friends, mm -hmm. um, she also has uh, trained in Bharatanatyam and has had an Arangetram. Her name is Malini Shekhar. Yeah. She approached me one day and she said, Lakshmi, you look like someone who can, who is rooted in tradition but can also think out of the box. Um, I would like to do some experimental stuff using Bharatanatyam as the base. Mm -hmm. um, some educational, some, uh, in, you know, something free-flowing. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested? And I said, yes. Uh, to be perfectly honest, Malini does most of the work. I always tell her I'm the silent partner, but I would like to think I'm um, the creative mm -hmm. help. Um, not that she's not creative, but she's uh, multi-talented. She does all the video work and mm -hmm. the editing. Um, so we tried um, taking poetry, mm -hmm. um, Sappho, and trying to, uh, Tagore, mm -hmm. and uh, trying to use uh, just hand movements or just eye movements to create expression okay. and uh, present it. Mm -hmm. So, and then we started doing a lot of um, help videos, like mm -hmm. getting ready for performance videos, which has gotten more than fifty thousand hits. Um, mm -hmm. I think, and uh, is doing pretty well. We've gotten really favorable comments. Mm -hmm. um, we are now thinking of um, doing more um, educational videos. So we are still mm -hmm. in the process of planning for the next one. So that is Dhirana movement. Okay. As the Women's Empowerment Program, as you name Lakshmi, how can we create more Lakshmis in our Indian American community, like you? Um, I think I'm, I am where I am today, uh, and I have a long way to go, is because I'm extremely passionate about uh, dance, mm -hmm. and I do not mind working hard, and I am very, very, um, I'm very, what do I say, self-motivated, mm -hmm. focused, and have uh, discipline, I would like to say. Okay. This is not, I'm not kind of self-praising, but these are things that are very essential for anyone mm -hmm. to at attain their mm -hmm. dream or goal. Mm -hmm. So as long as you are willing to work hard, you are passionate about, passionate about what you want to do mm -hmm. and um, are willing to get, get that goal mm -hmm. um, by fair means, mm -hmm. not foul. Mm -hmm. um, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible. Okay, what? We have got 30 seconds left. What advice do you give to our viewers? about your Bharatanatyam? Bharatanatyam is something which is, is mm -hmm. like my soul, I would mm -hmm. say. It is a beautiful art form. Mm -hmm. If you have an opportunity to see it, um, please do go and watch mm -hmm. it being performed. There are several Indian um, artists coming from abroad mm -hmm. who present here. And uh, if you want to learn, it's a beautiful art form. There are many schools in the tri-state area that you could tap to, go to, learn. It will help you focus. And it is, uh, to me, mm -hmm. it uh, completes me. So um, it can help you stay connected to your roots mm -hmm. and um, hopefully help define who you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lakshmiji, for coming and sharing your what shall I call rich experiences with our viewers? Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Barnick.